Hi guys. So lately the salmon skin pattern was discussed a lot in the Tivo Tornado forum and some ideas pop up on how to fix it. However, this salmon skin effect is not something new. The troubleshoot for the salmon skin effect was done a long time ago with other printers and with different boards and the easiest fix is to use a series of diodes between the driver and the stepper motor. I will not get into the theory behind this because that is available in detail online, but I will add a link in the description if you want to read more about it. Having said that, I bought these boards to make a few tests. There are many of these in the market and they are called smoothers. You can find smoothers with 4 diodes or 8 diodes, but to eliminate the salmon skin, you will need 8 diodes per axis. The boards I ordered only have 4 diodes, and that's okay because this way I can test the difference between using 4 and 8 diodes, and I plan to upgrade them with 8 different diodes, as I will show in a few minutes. The installation is very simple. You just need to open the controller and remove the cable from the axis you want to upgrade. Connect that to the smoother. And connect the smoother cable back to the board. But before the installation, it is very important that you check the cables that come with the smoothers. If the wires are like this, then you will have problems when you home the axis, as they will move in the wrong direction. To fix that, just remove the wires and place them back in the correct order. Use a thin tool and press slightly on the lock pins and pull the wire out. Once you place the wires back in, confirm that they are secure. The correct cable looks like this. When running the first print with the four diet smoothers, it's very noticeable that the salmon skin was highly reduced. Here you can see the before and after comparison. The after print has a much better finish now, but the salmon pattern can still be seen. Like I said before, I then upgraded my 4 diode smoothers to 8 diodes as recommended. I removed the original S3G diodes and replaced with the recommended 1N5404 diodes. Each 5404 diode costs only 20 cents here at a local electronic shop. And comparing with the S3G diodes, the 5404s have a lower forward voltage at 1 amp, which is more or less the current that our stepper motors are running, meaning that they will be closer to the dead zone voltage. These diodes also have a much lower thermal resistance. The S3G diodes have a value of 45 degrees per watt while the 5404s have only 20 degrees per watt, which means that my new diodes will not run as hot as the stock ones. And this is how my smoothers look after the diode upgrade. After the second test print, it's clear that this is the way to go. The salmon skin has disappeared and the quality is amazing. And there are no changes in the stepper motor noise. This is an upgrade I recommend for all TiVo Tornado users. You don't have to go through all this work to eliminate the salmon skin. You can just buy any smoother that has 8 diodes per board. I chose this diode upgrade option not only for testing purposes, but also because it was cheaper and also because I like the specs of these 5404 diodes. Even though all axes suffer from the decay and missing steps issue, 
the salmon skin is only noticeable with the X and Y axis. So to eliminate the salmon skin pattern, you just need to install smoothers on the X and Y axis. Thanks for watching and I see you guys next time. Bye.